how to customize footer in Shopify.tm, a static Shopify footer. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you how you could do some customization for your Shopify Dawn theme or specifically the default theme that you get when you first create a Shopify account or a Shopify store. Now, as you can see, this is the Shopify Dawn theme. Now, there are a lot of different free themes out there, but a lot of people prefer the default theme because it is very friendly or user friendly and you can easily customize it without getting confused on what the different elements are. So in today's video, we will be focusing on what you could do to create or make it more aesthetic, especially the footer area. Now, to get to the customization of your online store, the first step you're going to do is go over here under the sales channel, you have your online store. So simply select that. And you have a lot of sections over here. So we're going to focus on themes since Shopify Dawn is a theme. And as you can see here, simply select customize over here so that you will be able to customize. Now there is another level of customization that people could do, which is the code. As you can see here, you will be able to edit the code. Now if you're a coder or a programmer and you have some idea on how the HTML and CSS work, you could do some deep level customization on the footer of your Shopify Dawn theme and the entire theme or the entire store if you can. But for those who are not familiar with programming or you just want to do a quick and easy editing, you can simply click on customize over here, which will redirect us to the editing page where we can edit the Shopify Dawn themes footer. Now let's give it a few seconds to load and there we go. Now it is very easy to navigate our Shopify editor over here. You have three sections. You have your header, template, which is basically the body or the content of your online store and the footer. Now we will be focusing on the footer over here. Now there are a lot of options that we could do with our footer. We are able to add some sections. We have the option to add some custom liquids or email signups. Right now we have this as our email signups. But if you have a custom liquid or a custom code, you could also add that as well as you can see here. Then you can simply put in your liquid code. Now this will add app snippets or other codes to create advanced customization. And you could search up some custom liquid. So let's search up custom liquid for Shopify, something like that. And we will be able to see some liquids or some codes that we could copy and paste into our website so over here we have our section over here now this is like the shopify itself so we could look on other areas we could search up some other parts now you guys could find some codes that you guys like uh it might take a while for me to look for a very okay part or a very okay liquid but the process is very easy. You can simply look for codes that would allow you to create some designs. So you can simply copy and paste them over here. And aside from that, that is like the most level of customization that you will be able to get on this part of the editor. And we will still be able to add some other things. Like for example, you could uh, have this entire footer over here. This footer over here is, you could select this. You could edit the scheme. You could click on edit. And you could change the background to a different color, but this will most likely change the entire thing. So uh, the, the scheme is basically the design of the entire page, how the colors interact with each other. So you will be able to change the background, the text, the button background, outload button and shadow of the entire page. So if you don't want to touch that, you could skip to other parts. You have here email sign up. You could disable this if you want. As you can see, it will remove that because some people might find this annoying. And you could change the text over here. You could say hello instead or add some different information. You have the follow on shop. Uh, this will allow customers to follow your store. Now you will have to have your shop pay enabled for this to appear on your uh, footer. Now the more you complete your account, by the way, like you have your Shop pay enabled, you have your uh, social media accounts, 
you have your marketing settings all of those stuff you will have more options appear on your footer you have options like social media icons country and region selector you have your language selector and payment methods and many more you could also add some policy links and you can also add some custom CSS. This is similar to the custom liquid, but the custom CSS will allow you to add some custom style to your entire online store as well. And uh, let's also check out actually what we could do with the uh, social media icon. We can click on the team settings. On the team settings, this is basically like the settings of the entire team design. You have your logos, colors, typography, layouts, animations, buttons, variant fields, and many more. And over here, we have our social media. So let's actually try to HTTPS and add some random Facebook.com. Uh, there we go. Now, once you add your link over here, it will automatically appear on your footer since we have it enabled earlier on our settings. So over here, we could add some Instagram. Instagram.com. There we go. Now it will appear here as well. So once people select this, they will be redirected to whatever link you add over here. So this one, let's add for YouTube. There we go. Now this can add some aesthetic value to your footer or your website's design. So adding some uh, links over here will help your store very much if you have the social media account. But of course, if you don't have any social media account that is related to your store, you can't really add them over here. And aside from that, uh, we could go back to our sections over here. Uh, you could add blocks. You are able to add some text if you want. There we go. You will be able to have this part over here. You could add some messages, for example, messages, something like this. And then you could make it bold, something like that. And then over here, you could generate text as well. There are some AI that you could use to help build some content on your Shopify store. So over here, let's say uh, create a footer that thanks the user for using the store then you click on generate and then you will have some suggestions on what you could have for your messages so for example there now you have that and you could also add another block you could have some brand information you could select the brand information and this is basically like the social media icons again so you don't need to add that since we already have it over here so you could click on delete by clicking on the trash button and then you could add some images as well if you want to have some images and that's basically it those are the different things that you could use to help make your shopify footer into a more aesthetic or have a more aesthetic appearance that would make or maybe will help your customer stay on the store a little longer because they have a pleasing footer to look at so uh, aside from that, you guys could play around with the different parts as well. You have your header template. There's a lot of settings that you could play around. So that's basically it now for guys. So if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.